Hi guys, it's Tim from Advanced Link Car Tech. I hope you're all keeping well. So, Alpine Halo 11, you've probably watched the unboxing and review and all this sort of stuff. So we are doing the first, probably in the world, of an install into a Volkswagen Transporter T6. This is a 17 plate from memory. Um, and I'll tell you what, first things first, I know you. I, I talked about how good it was in the, uh, in the unboxing, which I'll link below. Um, it just looks like it should be here. And that is awesome. The Halo not even though it's an 11 inch screen compared to the nine inch screen, it is just, it just looks like it should be here. And I'm quickly gonna run through it, how it works in the T6, um, and just go over a few other bits uh, to reiterate from that review video. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna fire up, just pop it on ignition. The head unit will start up and fire up. Um, we'll have to look in to see if we can still do our custom splash screen on here. Um, hopefully we will, but I do quite like this system. Ignore that, that's the Pioneer head unit turning, uh, dash cam turning on. So what I'm gonna do is turn the volume down and the first thing that is immediately clear is about how incredible this 720p panel actually is. It just looks so crisp, just really high resolution and like I said, it just needs to be, it's, it just looks like it should be here. It doesn't look out of place in terms of it being the 11 inch screen. You don't really get any sort of overhang over the vents too far on either side, which I think is perfect. And this is the missing system from these vehicles. Now, um, as I mentioned in the unboxing video, the new feature of the Halo 11, apart from all the new wizardry and all the new gimmicks on here, um, is the ability to adjust this screen. So we can't move it up and down uh, we do that at the time of installation and it locks it. But the reason why the Halo has been so popular in the transporter platform is because these dashboards aren't great for flush fitting head units that are like that. And it can get sun glare and all this sort of stuff. And watch this. Grab it. You can, oh, those are our cables that we're going to be using in a minute. You can adjust the angle of the screen depending on you, the driver, your position and all of that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to pop it down just for the camera's benefit there. And uh, right, so we've got the these cables here that we've just loosely fitted because this is our test demo unit. We've not fully fitted it. We've not linked it up to the T6 in any shape shape or form it is just sat in here so that you guys can get a feel and a view of how it looks so um, as I've said I've already covered it's a 720p high definition panel and I'm just going to quickly run through some of the features so you've got your two cables here you've got one for your um, Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto and then you've got your other one which is for USB and if you've got an iPod a bit more old school you can plug this in and get all of the control through here on the USB which I've again I've shown you on the other thing um, radio just on dab at the moment as I said haven't really plugged any of the antennas in or anything like that you got your dab FM and AM come back out USB, as I said, if you've got it plugged in, you get full control over that. HDMI, if that is plugged in, um, you can have things like TV sticks. Oh, um, one thing I have just uh, tried is in the HDMI port, you can plug a Fire TV stick. I think it was a 4K version, but the, the Fire stick worked fine. Um, on some of the, on the Halo 9 and a few of the other Alpine models, we couldn't get the latest generation of Fire Sticks to to show up in the HDMI, but this worked all all pretty decent. We've got our AUX port, Bluetooth audio, dash cam. We were hoping on this video um, to be able to plug in the Alpine dash camera, show you how it worked and what it feel feel like. But because this is a demo unit, um, the connectivity of how the dash cam goes into this system, we couldn't fully get that working properly. But that will be sorted out um, once it's fully released and once they've explained how the integration works. And that's a feature that I think a lot of owners of the Halo and the Alpine system are going to really get on board with. You can fit the Alpine front and rear system on there have full control over it, I think, from memory, uh, and then obviously play back all your footage, see what's going on and all that sort of stuff. That'll be pretty, pretty decent. Uh, music, again, pretty self-explanatory. We've got our little uh, icon down here, which shows the current thing that we're listening to and playing. Uh, my phone, wherever it is, is in here somewhere. I think I'm sat on it. No, I'm not, it's in, oh, it's here. Here's my phone. Um, we're connected wirelessly to Apple CarPlay. And here you go. Again, 
720p panel this car play looks just awesome and i can't get over how well it sits and looks and feels in this t6 dash what i might do in a second is just move the camera um so that you can see a bit more of a side shot and i'll do the adjustment again and um, we'll do that towards the end of the film and then i'll link it up so that you can jump to that bit in the description below right so uh we've got all our stuff going on we've got ways all in and working all our usual apps i'm not going to bore you to death um, with CarPlay and how it all works, but it's all here. We've got our Spotify, um, which everyone loves and all that sort of stuff. Waze, WhatsApp, TuneIn Radio, all the jazz. So coming out again, um, phone, CarPlay, Android Auto. We're not Android Auto users here, but I'm guessing you people that use those, uh, the Android facility, Samsung, Huawei's, all that sort of stuff, you'll get all of that um, set up. Again, I'm not gonna bore you to death with how it all looks and what's going on, um, but I just did want to show you this bit about installation status and that it picks up. Um, so for instance, park is on at the moment. Take that off, put it on. You can see that it's all linking up quite nicely. Um, so yeah, oh, um, a few little bits that I did want to talk about as well. Um, I mentioned in the unboxing video about the US version. This is a totally different beast to the US based one. Um, the F11 or the F F. 411D I think it's called totally overhauled system that was a bit more of an entry level system with a 11 inch uh, 28 centimeter screen um, this is a total new overhaul of that platform with the new OS running on it um, and having what gone back and looked at the video of that uh, one of the chaps did um, I'll try and tag him into the video um, of the US based one it's a different operating system and I've I've compared it between the two and this is definitely a lot different a lot more premium I think um, and just looks and feels and works a lot nicer um, something that I didn't uh, mention as well um, is about the high-res audio um, for those audio geeks out there that know all about this the audio files it's got high res audio playback up to 96 kilohertz that means nothing to me um but i think it will mean a lot for you guys um and I've, i'd rather tell you and all this sort of stuff for the um as people know in our videos we're very volkswagen audi related and quite specifically in the transporter the t5.1s the t6s all of that sort of lovely stuff there is a t6.1 specific fitting kit coming for uh, the T6.1, um, there it's in development at the moment, and it should be launched at the same time that the Halo 11 is launched um, to coincide with each other. So we'll have the, one of those perfect fitting kits that we've done before, and that sold really well with the Halo 9. I'm not going to bore you to death with any more what it can do. I'll link to the uh, the full unboxing and all of this sort of stuff. Um, I might just excuse the wobbliness. I might just try, without it looking too amateurish, to disconnect the camera and just give you an idea. It's quite a heavy camera, so I have to be careful with it. Um, I'll just turn the screen around so I can actually see what I'm talking about. Zoom out a little bit. Ooh. And there you go. Just focus in on that. Um, you can see it all looking nice just from the side here. This is the view that you get as the driver. And let's just turn over this bit without bumping my head too much. And there you go. That is the profile of the unit. And as I said, I can't, probably can't do it too well from here, but it's quite a tough mechanism. There you go. So you can really get the screen looking how you want and how you want it to sit within your uh, your cockpit area. So, Alpine Halo 11 um, installed into a Volkswagen Transporter T6. Looks awesome. Definitely looks like it should be here, installed in here. Doesn't look out of place. Doesn't look like it can be nicked. Um, it is just a really decent bit of kit. I'm really excited to be able to start selling these to you guys um, with the fitting or just supply only. Um, we are planning on opening up a pre-order soon once we've got an ETA of when the units are going to be landing uh, with Alpine here in the UK. Once we've got that ETA, then I'll start opening up the pre-orders for the system um, so that you can get it because this system is going to sell fast. Um, they've released some pricing. Um, I think for supply only, the RRP, the recommended retail price, is between the 950 and a thousand pound mark, and 
I definitely think it's justified based on me being able to use it, interact with it, and all of that sort of stuff. It really is an awesome, awesome bit of kit. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and along with the unboxing video, um, we're going to try. We've got to send the unit back now, sadly. Um, we did hope to do another video, but we've just not had time to be able to do it. Uh, but hopefully when the, the next batch of units come, and I know that there's a new firmware upgrade on this unit as well, um, that we'll be chucking in on the next batch. Um, we'll get one ahead of the release, I hope and think, for our demo stand. So then we might be able to do some more videos for you guys um, and in some different scenarios so that you can see how it all looks, works and feels in different platforms and all that sort of stuff um yeah thanks for watching i hope you like the videos make sure you sub to the channel really does help us out smashing a like always looks good um and let us know your thoughts and feedback in the comments i'll be interested to see what you think any questions that i might be able to help with with the answers now i've played with it and all that sort of stuff and uh yeah cheers guys